cradle stuff there. <laughs> uh, now we move on to an Alaskan institution. We have a marvelous guest set for our next performer. The oldest guy in the room, George Faust. So yeah, it's true. I escaped from the Pioneer home just so I could be here tonight. <laughs> Well, it took me about eight and a half hours to shuffle my way over here via the bingo parlor. <laughs> and uh, I'm, I'm so old, you know, it's like, uh, I'm a little confused if I should be here tonight or should be somewhere else playing bingo or something, I don't know. <laughs> so how the heck are you guys doing huh, tonight, huh? Woo! <laughs> oh, good, all right. I'm sure you probably noticed, yes, I'm the only guy here who looks like Mr. Clean on crack. <laughs> So well, yeah, um, like, the, like Matt Collins said, my name is George, in Spanish it's Jorge, of course it's Spinar talk, it's more like a whore. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I have a wonderful relationship with my mother, you know, yeah. Sometimes she's really nice to me, and sometimes she's really like the queen of mean, you know, it just depends on the, on the day, you know, I remember when I shaved my head about 10 years ago for the first time, she gave me the... Weirdest compliment. She says, son, when are you going to rub your hands with butter up there and see if you're going to attract the flies? <laughs> it's like, mom, can't you be a little bit more Pollyanna? I like at least say butterflies, huh? Flutterbys? You know, like, oh, come on, give me a break, you know? Oh my God, you know, I go down all the way to home and visit my mom, and, you know, she says, first words out of her mouth, I'm like, what are you doing here? I don't know, mom. When I figure it out, you'll be the first to know, okay? Maybe next time I'll do, we'll do an Elvis appearance together, okay? Something like that. She said I was a difficult baby, I was a difficult kid, and I'm a difficult teenager, you know? And I'm still difficult. Well, my retort is, thank God, Mom, at least I'm consistent. <laughs> I always wanted to ask her, Mom, was I that difficult to conception? Was it really that hard? <laughs> Yes, sir, hey, Bob, yeah. <laughs> I wanted to buy her house 10 years ago down in Homer, but she wouldn't sell it to me. She says, I'm not selling you my house. I'm not selling you my house. You're going to turn it into a rental. No, Mom, I'm not going to turn it into a rental. I'm going to turn it into a brothel, okay? <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be the best brothel in the entire Kena, and I know you. I'm going to call Rosie's place. That's my mother's name. <laughs> Beautiful name, but thorny personality. Well, it's best she comes to me, you know, right? You know? I think it's a beautiful name, just like her bush. <laughs> I meant her rose bush. Come on, guys, give me a break. <laughs> so, uh, I used to talk to my mom about juggling and unicycling, but she'd never call it by name. She'd always say to me, are you doing your thing again? You're doing your thing again? Which makes me think, my God, if I keep doing it behind open doors, I'm eventually going to die of guilt. And I'm not even Jewish. So, um... I remember when I first got my six-foot unicycle. You know about a six-foot unicycle. I know what it looks like, right? I put it all. I put all. I pulled it out of the box. Put it all together. The long post and everything. The wheel and the seat. And you know what the very first words out of her mouth after I showed it to her were? Talk about comic relief. Where's the kickstand? <laughs> Apparently, I must have done that for myself. <laughs> so, uh, I love movies. Has anybody seen the movie Fast and Furious 7? <laughs> I thought it was just absolutely ridiculous, but it was a fun movie. It's too bad John Walker, the actor, died. I mean, ladies, he's a really sexy dude, right? <laughs> I feel really sad because now I'm going to have to take over where he left off. <laughs> I'm really sorry, you know? I mean, it's hard to be humble when I'm a big, sexy god like me and myself, right? You know, I mean, I do have a... Uh, I forget it. <laughs> so, Another movie I thought was really great was the movie Insurgent. Now they have Divergent, you know, and they're going to come out with a sequel, and I'm thinking, what are they going to call that? Detergent? <laughs> I'm willing to bet that this is the one that's going to clean up at the box office, yeah. So I'll tell you, before I go, one thing I really like on women is tattoos, especially down here in the lower back. What do you call them, ladies? Tramp stamps, right? Yeah. Now, if I got one down here in my lower back, you know what I call it? I call it a gramp stamp. 
That's right, man. I mean, I'll tell you what, what would I have here? I'd probably have dancing, you know, bottles of Lipitor, a couple bingo pads, you know, framed by a big old Depends pad. Endorsed by the ARP because I'm fucking old, okay? Now, I'll ask you, I mean, I, will I like it? I don't know. It depends. Thank you. Good night, everybody. My name is George